In this video, I'll demonstrate how to work out an example of the expected value. So we begin with the following problem. Assume that a fundraiser is held to raise money for scholarships. 50 students are authorized to sell 10 raffle tickets, each at the price of $10 per ticket. For one person who purchases a ticket, the prize is $500. Compute the expected value if a person purchases one ticket. Let's clarify that. So the first step is we draw the probability distribution. The X represents the outcomes, P of X probabilities, and we divide it into win or loss columns. So for this gain, a player wins $500. That's the grand prize. The loss is $10. Let's make it negative. So negative $10. Now we have to write down the chance of winning the $500. Well, let's keep in mind that we have 50 students who are selling 10 tickets. So there's 500 tickets that are up for grabs. And let's assume that all tickets are sold. One of those tickets is the winning ticket. So the chance of winning is one out of 500. Now to compute the expected value, we average the winnings, meaning we multiply each outcome with each probability and add those products together and then subtract the loss from it. So we have 500 times 1 out of 500 minus 10. 500 times 1 out of 500 is 1. 1 minus 10 is negative 9. What this means is that the expected value is negative 9. That means on average, whoever buys a ticket is losing $9. Well, that $9 is going to the house. That's going to be the profit that is made by the house. The house is the organization hosting the game. So their final profit would be the 9 times 500, which is the $4,500. But ultimately, you will have to know about the expected value. And it's... Remember, if the expected value is negative, the game favors the house. If the expected value is zero, the game is fair. And if the expected value is positive, that's when it favors the player. Most games of chance will have a negative expected value. Thanks for watching the video.